To a developing story, there's confusion and frustration tonight from parents surrounding an allegation against a Carlsbad High School teacher. They just got a notice telling them about an investigation that may have been going on for months. As 10 News reporter Michael Chen tells us, that teacher tonight is breaking his silence. When a popular teacher at La Costa Canyon High suddenly was no longer teaching, the rumors started to swirl. There is new information emerging tonight about the allegations being looked at. About two months ago, senior Rafa Fabito says his film teacher, Speed Ferris, was a no-show. I thought he was just absent. But that absence continued without an explanation until now. An email sent home to parents early this week confirming Ferris is currently assigned to the school district office amid an investigation into allegations of inappropriate conduct toward former students. Across campus, a sense of disbelief. This doesn't jive with what is typical personalities like he usually, I would not expect this from him. Mary Harris took an English class taught by Ferris. He liked to joke around, but none of his jokes made anyone uncomfortable. He was just a really happy, fine guy. Everything's always been really good at the school for us. So anything that I guess goes wrong with students or teachers is shocking to probably all of us. Some parents we talked to wondered why it took months for the district to inform them. As for the teacher at the center of the probe, he agreed to talk to us. I'm having a very difficult time. On the phone, Ferris told us he couldn't say much, but did maintain his innocence. These allegations are false. They're unwarranted. I've cooperated with the district investigation as much as possible. And this whole process is ruining my, my life and my career. Michael Chen, 10 News. We did ask the San Diego Union High School District why it took several months to inform parents and we're waiting to hear back. A Sheriff's Department spokesperson says a criminal case has been sent over to the district attorney's office for review.